Hello everyone, welcome to my GANS 2020 presentation. My name is Zheng Guangwu. Today I would like to talk about a Chevy value method for vehicle allocation in a bus rapid transit system. I have divided my presentation into four main parts. First of all, I will talk about the trade-off between transportation costs and the occupation rates of the passenger vehicles in transit through scheduling. Second, I will show you this study applied the Chevy to be power index to improve the BRT bus scheduling. Third, I apply F1 bus rule data of the Xiamen city in April 2017 year to verify the proposal model. And finally, I would like to finish off by talk about some of the feature work we need to improve the model. I'd appreciate it if you could leave any question you may have until the end of my presentation. As you can see, these photos, passenger overcrowded and poor quality service in Xiamen City BRT. An acceptable bus occupation rate during peak hours is approximately 85% to 95%. The current BRT buses are overcrowding in four peak time period from P2 to P17. Because there are few number of buses and many passengers in one bus, the average occupation rate per bus is 145, 43%. Now, this BRT system also weighs bus capacity in 17 of, time of peak time periods from P1, P4 to uh, P17. Because there are many buses and a few passengers in one bus, the, the, the average occupation rate per bus is 55%. However, there's a travel trade off between vehicle transportation costs, that is, fuel consumes maintenance and repair, drive salary, etc and the occupation rate of passenger vehicle in the public transportation system, that's BATS. Uh, take a look at it, this graph. The upward line represents the transportation cost, the greater passenger demand, and the higher number of vehicle space, and hence the greater cost incurred. On the other hand, the lower passenger demand and the fuel vehicle supply leading to reduction in the transportation cost. The downward line indicates that the vehicle can acquisition rate. The PDS might deploy a mass number of vehicles, but have inadequate service capacity because of low vehicle acquisition rate. In contrast, if the number of the PTS vehicle deployed is few, but the passenger demand quality is high, resulting in the increase the occupation rate, the waiting times may become too long, and the vehicles are often overcrowded when they arrive. Herein lies the dilemma for the PTS: how to increase. The, the occupation rate and and uh, uh, while minimizing ever ever uh, expanding transportation cost. Therefore, reliability of the complete PTS schedule always depends upon achieving a balance of equilibrium between the vehicle occupancy rate and the transportation cost. Uh, 
uh, take a look at this this table. Based on the average number of passengers, we can compute the proportional division to allocate the number of bus in each time period. So, uh, the, so the average occupation rate decreases from 143 percent to 87.8 percent uh, in the peak, uh, peak large hour. And uh, the off peak time periods, the average occupation rate increased from 55 percent to 90 to 87.8 percent is a proportional division in the a fair solution AI measure could not provide individual rationality and cooperation solution concept to allocate the transportation vehicles proportional division is a commonly used to serve Resource allocation problem. Professor Oman indicates proportional division is not a fair or reasonable measure if the minimum number of individual requirements is greater than or a available resource supply. To optimize PDS performance, researchers have developed shared value and optimization measure over the past few decades. This study applied the Shelby value or Shelby Subi power index to improve the BRT bus allocation. Four steps in bus two schedule of calculation. Step one, <coughs> like the interaction of the 17 time period to the planning of a 17 player cooperative game, that is a party body game in F1 bus loop. So the time periods are players. Step two, assign a unit impact value V, that is average number of passengers for each time period. Step three, calculate Shelby Subi power index. In step three, the threshold value N is a half of the total number of passengers. The play Press could be formed a winning collision when the summation of the impact value of time periods passes the threshold of majority level and produce the Shelby Subi power index for each player uh, or time periods. And the step four, apply Shelby Subi power index to allocate the number of BRT buses for the 17 period from E1 to E17 for the F1 bus loop schedule. As you can see, <coughs> this workflow chart given in impact value for 17 time period from V1 to V17 for bus route F1, we can compute the majority of all impact value. And 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 a cooperative game model is applied to establish a PDS bus of deployment schedule by using the Shelby Subi power index from S1 to S17. And finally, the proposed model produces a field schedule of PRT buses and allocate the numbers of buses for the 17 time period from E1 to E17 for F1 rule. And experiment is carried out for utilizing data for the bus rapid transit system of the Xiamen city in China to verify the proposal model. 17 impact value, uh, that is the number of passengers per, per period are applied to compute the Shelby Subi power index for each time period for rule F1. Uh, so uh, the total number of passengers is 15,419 and the threshold value M is 
7,745. Uh, the average number of passengers provided in the I period is, this, is defined by this equation. Take a look at this table. This table shows the total number of uh, available buses that is 115 OT on the row F1 in Shami City. The shape value or Shelby Subi power index for each period is derived from the number of passengers VI and the number of buses EI to be deployed for each time period is calculated using an equation and we can capture average number of passengers per bus mu i. Uh, let's take a look at this, this graph. The proposed model was applied to determine whether the tra tra travel cost saving could be improved for the F1 bus or not. The proposal model suggests dispatching night buses in the 17 of time period from P1 to P17. You see this block? Red block. So we can compute the disease division with the Shelby Subi power division based on the number of buses. The existing division method deployed 15 buses in the uh, 17 of peak time period. Uh, pro the proposal model suggests dispatching 15 buses in each Peak time, which include P2, P3, P12, and the P13, but the current bus schedule only deploy 13 bus in each time period. Therefore, the Shelby Subi Park Index division is more efficiency efficient than the existing division. Uh, let's took, look at this graph. Uh, a suitable bus capacity is 56 passengers. The current estimated number of passengers per bus during peak hour, P2, from P2 to P17 period, is 80 passengers, which means an extra 14, 24 passengers are crowded into one bus. Uh, the proposal number of passenger per bus is 48 passenger, so it would be more comfortable. Currently, let's look at it this graph. Currently, the peak hour occupation rate per bus is 143%. Uh, the proposal model ensures that the peak hour occupation rate per bus is period 2 is. 18.5%. Uh, the proposal model will provide passengers with a more comfortable bus space with occupation rate during the four peak hours, P2, P3, P12, and P7, uh, P13. That is 18.5%. Uh, As you can see, the origin bar and the 18.5%. 6% and 18.5% and 18.6% Okay, let me, let me introduce uh, the Shelby Subi Power Index VS Proportional Division that's based on the occupation rate. Uh, we can compare these two divisions based on the occupation rate. An acceptable bus occupation rate during peak hour is approximately 85% to 95%. During a peak hour, each bus could have a spare capacity 5% to 50%. To satisfy unexpected 
requirements. The Bax Occupation Day the Proposal Division, SRI. Take a look, take a look at this graph. Uh, SRI range is between from uh, between 86.5 percent, as you can see the red bar, uh, origin bars, uh, and 92.9 uh, percent uh, for for the uh, 17 time period, and the bus occupation rate of proportional division PRI is uh, O O R. 87.8% in each time period. So both divisions are acceptable, but which one is better? During, uh, take a look at this graph. During a uh, four peak out from P2, P3, P12, and P17, passengers are always way too long at the bus stop, and the bus are open or crowded. If each bus has more space capacity, it will be easier for potential new passengers to board during this part peak, peak time. As you can see this uh, graph, the six occupation rate of the proposal division uh, is 87.7. Five percent, eighty six point six percent, eighty four uh five point seven percent, and uh, that's it eighteen six point six seven. They are lower than the occupation rate of the proportional division. Uh, that is eighty seven point eight percent for the four peak out. P from P two to uh, P2, P3, and P12, and P17, and the near, the two near peak out, and P1 and P4. Uh, as you can see, the figure clearly show the value of SRI. SRI means uh, a proportional uh, division. Uh, a proportional of divisions. Rate. And PI is a proportional, uh, is, is a proposal. It should be should be called index division uh, acquisition rate. And minus P, PI, PI, PI proportional, that is proportional divisions acquisition rate. So SRI minus PI are negative in the six time period. Which represent the proposal division provide more spare capacity than the proportional division in this six period. In contrast, the occupation rate of the proposal division are higher than the proportional division's occupation rate in the seven uh, in the eleven of time of p time periods from p to P17. As you can see, the, uh, the green, the black. In the figures, in this figure, the value of SRI minus PRI are positive in the 11 or peak hours. Uh, since the number of passengers is low and the bus is rarely crowded during a peak time periods. A high occupation rate could reduce costs as well as improve bus occupation utilization. In this table, uh, we can see the total value of SR minor PRI is 26.29%. Uh, so we can uh, uh, therefore, the proposal should be should be part, part in that division provide a logical and a suitable service capacity for peak or peak of peak period time period that are better than those provided by the proportional or traditional division measure.
So that brings me to the end of my presentation. We look at three main points. First, I show you a dilemma between reducing transportation cost and providing a high level of transit service. Then, we look at the shelby value or shelby should be point S. I apply to build a rating system for the deployment of buses in BRT. And finally, I explain you about the proposed, proposed bus division is more flexible and efficient than proportional division. The key reason is that Shelby should be power index model allow a player a uh, large time period to be part of more than one collision. It applies the concept of the majority collision in a simple game to compute the Shelby super power index for each time period. The future world will, will apply the proposed model to multiple bus route data for verification from the point of view of passenger demand. Thank you for listening.